Hi, it's Phil from the Band Lab Academy, teaching music to the world's digital learners. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly create a new section to your song that sounds great and fits with the sections you've already made. A song takes us on a journey. Your job is to make it as interesting and as enjoyable as possible. In order to do this, you need both variety and familiarity. Different sections keep the interest, whilst repeated sections allow us to identify with a certain tune, melody or chord progression. There is no right or wrong way to do this, so I want you to find your way. What feels and sounds good to you? Don't forget, you can access and use all the music that I create in these videos by following the link in the description. Let's make music! So let's take a quick look at where we got to in the last video. So already we've established a feel of this glitch hop type beat and what we need to do for the next section is find some samples that sound similar but they're different. We need variety but familiarity at the same time so that the song doesn't sound completely different. So we use the glitch hop sample. So I'm going to go down to samples, bottom right corner, and I'm already in glitch hop. And if you look on the samples, you can see the ones I've used. Glitch Hop Terra Drums, Glitch Hop Mobbed Bass, Glitch Hop Terra Growl, Terra Reese. So there's a family here, the Terra family, let's call it. And we've used them in the first section. Let's call it the introduction. So I'm going to scroll down and look for a new one. So let's try Glitch Hop Profit. <laughs> So that gives us a flavor of what that sounds like. And it sounds different, but it also sounds it's within the same glitch hop style. So that's going to suit perfect. But I don't want to copy that in because that's got bass, it's got drums, it's got everything in together. So what I might do, and let's scroll across. So we can just start from bar 17. The first section was 16 bars long. And we're now going to go from 17 to 25. And eight bar section. Let's call it the verse or the chorus. We'll see how it goes. So here's some profit drums. Sounds fine. Drag it up and I'm going to make sure it goes on the same track as the glitch hop Terra drums were on. In other words, the top track. So making sure it's exactly on bar 17. And to be really accurate, remember we can go to view, the grid snap is on, and the grid size to one bar. And that means that the magnet only allows you to stick right on the bar. So for accuracy's sake, there we go at 17, dead on. And I said to bar 25, so let's go to the copy function, top right corner, and drag it one bar at a time to bar 25. So this now is eight bars long. And modern music, modern contemporary music, usually is in the timing of 4-4, four, four, which means you're counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 2, 3, 4. So 4s and 8s and 16s and 32, keep doubling it, sounds good. So there's the drums. Let's have a quick listen. The next instrument I had on the second track was the Glitch Hop Mobbed Bass. So I'm looking for a bass. And under the same family, I'm using Profit Drums. Let's try Profit Bass here. Nice. And there's another one, Profit Bass 1 and Profit Bass 2. So let's hear the other one. Uh... <laughs> 
very similar but I think I prefer the first one so I'm going to drag it in under the drums and remember to slide it across so it exactly starts at bar 17 and we for now can copy it to bar 25 let's just check dead on because we've got the grid size setting to one bar let's hit these two together <laughs> And that's just repeated so that's okay now we're looking for some form of interest it could be a synth sound it could be a, an effect sound we can do whatever we like and we may not find it in the same pack so we need to know how we might find something glitchy that adds interest so we've got a synth here too quiet for me nothing really happening there chords again nothing really interesting nothing that excites me there and our job is to find something that excites us and our audience so I don't think there's anything really that I want to use here we've got more bases but put two bases together and you're really going to start muddying the sound so what I'm going to do is click on loops and type in glitch so remembering that I was in F minor, that's the key, that's the scale that the bass is in, we're trying to match that up. So here's one, glitch hop bass. Again, nothing very interesting there. Really not so keen on having two basses together as I said. So we've got to keep looking. Well, I know that's a bass and it's in C minor, but I might break the rules here just because I like the sound of that. Let's put it in, see what it sounds like. Go from 17. Well, I absolutely love that. So what have I just done? I've completely changed the rules. So I was suggesting this is what you do and this is what you don't do. And I've broken my own rule. So what does that say? It says to me, keep an open mind. Okay, try things out. I wasn't expecting that to work, but for me it does. And what I like about that is it's got a melody. It's got a tune. So if I solo that, you hear this. So that's what I call a catchy tune. And it's important that songs have something catchy that you start humming or singing. So that was a bit of a surprise, but good. Happy accidents. Let's do that. That's going on there for eight bars. And I'm still looking for something, another sample, another loop that might go together. Nope. Profit bass. Yes, the one we've used. Maybe a bit of percussion. Quite a nice rhythm, let's try it. From bar 17. Now that feels like it's muddying up the rest of the track. It's just a bit too busy. Sample glitch two. Mm-hmm, okay. One sound, let's try it. I quite like it. It's, it seems to go in tune. It sounds good to me, and that's really an important thing. But it's not in the right place, because it's not so loud. You can see by how big or small the waveform is, and it's small, so it's not so loud. And it's getting a bit drowned out by the bass. So what if I move it to a little somewhere a little bit quieter, like, for example... Well, I was going to move it there, but of 
course, I can't move it because of the grid size at the moment, the grid setting. So let's go up to grid size. And uh, now we want to get a little bit more accurate. I'm going to go down to one eighth. And what that means, if you remember, is that each bar now is divided into eight sections or segments, which means we can move it one eighth of a bar at a time. And I've had this idea that in between bar 20 and 21, let's put it bang in the middle. Maybe that's where we want this sound to come in. Let's try it. I like it and I've got this idea because it's glitch I want to glitch that sound up the secret of glitch if you like is is the slicing and the moving of samples reordering them and just making one sound really quite interesting so the idea I have is bringing that sound in again, but not as it is at the moment. So I'm going to shorten it by going to the bottom right hand corner. And I want to bring it in. Let's find out where I want to bring it in. About there. Don't know why, it just feels good. It's in between bar 22 and 23. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that sample. Two ways to do it, control C or right click and copy. So in these videos, I'm also gonna remind you what we were doing last week and the week before, just to get you in the habit of using these shortcuts or remembering what we learned earlier. Right click again, paste. So there's that sample, and I'm gonna really shorten it this time to just one eighth. Let's have a listen, how will that sound? Zoom out a bit so I can go from bar 17. <laughs> sure about that yet gonna work with it though I'm going to now you can see this small slice I can copy the small slice like this that will go da da repeat twice let's go from about here now let's go from 21 <laughs> Yeah, feels it needs one more thing. What is it? Control C, let's copy it. Where am I hearing something? Not quite sure yet. Let's go for bar 23. Experimenting, I'm not clear, doesn't matter. Just use these skills and the ideas you've got and try them out. Control V, okay, two of those now. Dirt, 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 dirt. See what it sounds like. <laughs> Perhaps I want one more. Control C, copy, paste. There it is. And I'm going to zoom in now because I'm going to drag that bottom right one. Not done this before, so this would be interesting. Too fast, too fast. So let's undo that. Undo in the top left hand corner or Control Z, one click. There it is, back to where it was. And I think what I need to do, I want to slice it halfway there. So let's go to view, grid size 16. There we go. So let's just check. There, I'm bang in the middle of that sample. I'm going to slice it. Right click, slice. So let's delete that and delete that. And I want to repeat this first slice. One, two, three. Four. Let's have a listen. Very important when we're doing all these changes, we've got to hear it in context. So I'm going to rewind. Let's zoom out as well. So the first thing I want to hear is this new section, which starts at bar 17. I might call it the chorus. The chorus is going to be the, the part that's repeated the most in a song, the catchiest bit, the bit that people identify as where there's the, the strongest chorus lyrics or there's the best tune and melody. So if this is going to be the chorus, it's got to be as strong as I can make it. Good, I like it. Before I go any further then, it's really important to now see, does this new section, let's call it the chorus, 
does it go with the first section? Let's call that the introduction. The way to find out, of course, is to rewind to the beginning and have a listen. Here we go. Great, happy with that. Well, I'm going to stop there because I want to make these videos short and to the point. Don't forget, use the skills you're learning in any genre that you like. Okay, this is not just about glitch. This is about any style of music. Just use the skills that we're experimenting with. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you subscribe so you don't miss the next one. This is for absolute beginners, but it's also we're adding in some really advanced techniques at the same time. And above all, we're building a structure to a song. We're taking you, the audience, the listener on a journey. And as we continue with these videos, we're going to be coming back to these earlier sections and putting on what I like to call the icing on the cake little things that make them even more interesting, adding symbols, adding effects, slicing bits out, just add an even more interesting element to the song. So this is not a finished song. This is not a finished piece of work. It's a work in progress. So don't be too worried that we're leaving it there. Always save your work and remember that if you want this track to either work on, to use as your own, to fork, please go into the description below I have forked it on BandLab. You can access it. You can see what I've done. You can see how I've done it. And if you like bits, you can use this and then create your own song. That's all for now. I hope you found value in that. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Until the next time, keep making music.